American Idol season 10, night 11. American Idol season 10, night 11 was long. I love American Idol. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I think, God, I wish there was an American Idol on right now. That said, the two hour episodes are draining, physically, intellectually, and emotionally. You're asking us to commit to two hours of on the edge of your seat drama. Human Target doesn't even ask us to do that. And then followed by another episode tonight, which I can only assume is at least an hour. That's three hours of white knuckle television. I wanna be the kind of guy who complains about too much American Idol. It's like a guy who complains about the fact that his grocery store only has peanut butter Oreos. And then the grocery store stops selling the peanut butter Oreos. And he's like, hey, wait, I want peanut butter Oreos again. Sorry. Too late, you said you didn't want to. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it's an emotional investment and I just want that to be recognized. First half of this week's episode, we were in Las Vegas. Because when you've got 60 plus underage kids who can sing, you might as well put them on a bus and take them to Las Vegas. So many talented people in Vegas. Paul McDonald, this year's Jason Castro. Nashville, hipster beard, lots of skinny jeans. Scotty McCreary, Robbie Rosen. I'm gonna tell you what, Robbie Rosen's gonna stick around. He like turned around and I was like, that boy's a star. That's my star stamp. We're out of ink. Oh, thank you. I'm loving all the changes of scenery this year. We went from being on the set of Cirque du Soleil's Love in Las Vegas, where it's just like Robbie Rosen and Jerome Bell singing surrounded by a circle of umbrellas because that makes sense. When we go back to Hollywood, we were in an airplane hangar. Literally, an airplane hangar. There was an engine behind JLo's head. Jennifer Lynn Lopez, you angel from heaven. When we got back to Hollywood, she was dressed like a green, like Grecian goddess. I just love that she's so real and honest and emotional, but constructive. And she had to tell them they were going home and she lost it. She literally lost it. The episode ended with Jennifer Lopez in a chair, crying, saying, I don't know if I can do this anymore. And some people can look at me and tell me they just don't get American Idol. Come on, come on. American Idol. See what I did there? I did it different. Mixing it up. 